Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinite Division platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your J main examination. This question came now came on 1st September 2021 in shift 2. So let us see this question first. Question says a temperature of a 3 mole of an ideal diatomic gas is increased by 40 degrees centigrade without changing the pressure of the gas. So that means it is an isobaric process that we already know because of pressure remains constant. The molecule in the gas rotates but does not oscillate. So oscillation part of the uh, diatomic gas we have to neglect. If the ratio of the change in the internal energy of the gas to the amount of work done by the gas is given by x by 10. So that means you have been given the ratio of change in internal energy to the work done by the gas which is x by 10. So then the well, what is value of x? Okay, nearest integer tak nikalna hai aapko. So we already know that Since it is an isobaric process where pressure remains constant, the work done by the gas is given by relationship W is equal to PdV delta V which is nothing but NR delta T. This is delta T is the change in temperature and is the number of the moles of the gas and R is a gas constant. And what is change in internal energy of the system? It is equal to NCV delta T. Okay, so this is CV is molar heat capacity at constant volume. Delta T is a change in temperature of the system of the gas and N is the number of moles of the gas. So you have to find out the ratio of del U by W. Okay, since CV is for diatomic molecules, so it can easily be written as FR by 2, where R is the degree of freedom of the diatomic gas into delta T and what is that what is degree of freedom of the diatomic gas diatomic gas has a degree of freedom of 5 so it can easily be written as 5 by 2 n r delta T okay so this is the expression of change in internal and internal energy of the gas so the delta U by W comes out to be 5 by 2 n r delta T divided by n r delta T it will gonna cancel out so eventually you will get 5 by 2 is the correct answer it is given as x by 10 so finally the value of x comes out to be 25 okay so answer would be 25 okay only uh, thing that you need to find out uh, that you need to learn is you need to learn about the change in internal energy system and also the work done by the gas during isobaric process. Rest everything is clear. Okay, I hope this question is clear to everyone. Thank you.